Hey, what's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a video on this Corona saw, folding saw. I want to say, I think Corona is more like a pruner. I know this is in sort of the home gardening around the house type deal at Home Depot where this was purchased. I want to say, I forget how much it was purchased at Home Depot, but I know they're available online for around 20 bucks. Um, but this is a pruner, you know, around the house you can do some stuff with it. <clears throat> it's a 10 inch blade with a curve, three sided teeth, has a locking mechanism here, but uh, doesn't come with a case. I'll probably do a, a video comparison with this and the, and the Baco uh, Laplander, but I'm just going to start cutting with it. That's why I'm doing the video. You, video you want to see uh, it's all being used. You know, say for instance, you got a tree like this around the house. Maybe you want to cut off some branches. Do some pruning, you know, just some general around the around the yard type deal. You can use a saw going through stuff. You want to shape the tree that shape the tree you've just planted. Take a branch off, New Year, shape the tree, anything like that. And this pool is on the uh, excuse me, cuts on the pool. It says on the blade. But this is a really nice saw, and I really like the grip up here. You can see the handle, the way it's curved. Sort of try to mimic some different hand holds depending on the reach you need. But you know, the, but the money's up here when you can hold it up here and you really control the blade, your hand closest to the blade. So it's really making light work of just this small diameter uh, branches. But this can be used to process firewood. And I'm going to actually show you. I'm going to buck down a log, cut some uh, cut some wood with it. Keep following me over. A nice piece of wood. It's a tree that someone or the wind knocked over. It's been dead. It's still on the ground, uh, but it's not directly touching the ground. So I think this wood will be okay to use as, as firewood. I'm just going to do a cut down here at the base to detach it. And it pulls, or excuse me, cuts on the pull. I don't know why I keep messing that up. Cuts on, uh, cuts on the pull. And the difference between that and, say, the Baco, where it cuts on both strokes, is just the technique you use and where you kind of put your weight, put your intention on the forward or back stroke. Made light work of that. So you want to come over here and get the shot of this diameter of this tree you just went through, just for comparison. Think about. Eh, what is this, four inches? Eight, four inches this way. Handle to handle here where I'm touching is about 12 inches, tip to tip, so. Went through that, no problem, light work. Light work. <clears throat> we get, get go to a, go to a more comfortable spot and cut down some more of this, more of this uh, tree. I'm gonna just buck the buck this tree down with the intention of having some firewood, potentially a baton it if I have a big enough fixed blade or a hatchet or an axe, but small diameter firewood, really good for camp. Really good for camp to get this size if you can and baton it down, expose a lot of angles for the wood. It uh, really helps the wood burn better, cleaner, you can control the fire better. And actually, as I'm doing this, because I'm putting my, really engaging the backstroke, I'm pulling the tree back with me, and I'm just, by chance, I'm, I'm using this, uh, branch off this fallen tree, as I rock back, it's going to help it stabilize it in the motion where it's most important.
There's going to be some tension on this now. The weight's going to want to push, so counterbalance. And made really light work of that. Nice piece of wood, diameter against the blade. Really quick. I'll do another one. I just want to stop for a second and just kind of point out the stance I'm taking, my actual physical body. I'm not standing up right here and using my back, keeping my back and putting a lot of tension on my back. I'm bending my legs and getting down kind of parallel with the motion, get my whole body into it. If you're going to be doing this all day, repetitive task, it's really important to have the proper, proper posture to use your whole body so you're not just stressing one single point. Yourself, this might come back on you. Nope. <clears throat> I really like this saw. I really, really like this saw. Um, for a few reasons. One, it's going through this wood really easy. Excuse me, a little out of breath, but <clears throat> I hope to do a comparison video. I will do a comparison video between this and the, the Baco. But as this saw stands by itself, for the price, around 20 bucks, there are only a few things I, I want to mention about it. One, there's a little bit of play in here, but it is locked, it stays locked, it's not going to come above that. Could be an issue for you, uh, not really one for me. And what I really like about this is the ability to go to a store and look at it and hold the saw, as opposed to always looking online and, uh, and looking for a video for it. I don't know if anyone out there who's watching this feels the same way, but I really miss the days where I could go to an actual store and find all the gear I wanted, find something and look at it and play with it before <laughs> online shopping became so popular. So that's again the reason why it's getting a few stars, extra few stars in my book. I can just go look at it and decide if I want it. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, Turtles. <laughs>